In the diagram below of right triangle KTW, KW is 6, KT is 5, and the measure of angle KTW is 90, what is the measure of angle K to the nearest minute? Okay, so first of all, what's a minute, right? Um, in general, we measure angles in degrees, but if we really want to be specific, instead of using just degrees and then a decimal point and some decimal after that, we can use what's called DMS, or degrees, minutes, and seconds. So we can be really specific about how many degrees an angle is by saying it in degrees, minutes, and seconds. And there's 60 minutes in a degree and 60 seconds in a minute, just like time. So here, they want us to express our answer in degrees and minutes, to the nearest minute. They don't really care about how many seconds, so we could be even more specific, but we're not going to be. We're going to just get it down to the minute. Okay, and then how do we actually solve this problem and find this angle? Well, it's a right triangle, and we know two of the sides. We know the side adjacent to the angle that we're interested in, angle K, and we know the hypotenuse is 6. So if you remember your cosine, sine, uh, sine, cosine, and tangent, so ka, toa, if we know the adjacent and the hypotenuse, we must be interested in using the cosine, so we'll say cosine of angle K, cosine of K equals adjacent over hypotenuse, which is 5 over 6. So then we can plug this into our calculator now and say K equals the inverse cosine, so you do cos negative 1 in your calculator, of 5, 6. And that will give you angle K. Provided you have your calculator in degree mode, you should find out that angle K equals 33.55731, and then there'll be more decimals after that, but that's plenty. And this answer is in degrees, right? So it's 33.55731 degrees, but what is it in degrees and minutes? So there's two ways to do this. Your calculator actually will convert it for you. So if you know how to do that, or if you don't know and you want to open up the instruction man manual, or Google it, or ask a friend how to get it into degrees, minutes, and seconds, it can be done at the push of a button. But if you forget how, I like to just think about what this really means. It's certainly 33 degrees. That's the whole degrees. What we're really worried about is this fractional bit how many minutes is this fraction of a degree? Well currently it's expressed as a fraction uh, just like any other number it's always out of a hundred right this is 0.55 hundredths so we can actually set up a ratio so if this is 55.731 out of a hundred then what would it be if it was out of 60? Because there's 60 minutes in a degree. Well, we don't know. That's what we want to know. We want to know how many minutes it would be if it was on a basis of 60. Right? So if you could set up this ratio, then you can just cross multiply. 60 times 55.731 divide by 100, and ultimately you'll find out what x equals. x equals what did I do when I got it in my calculator? I got 0.33. Well, yeah. If you keep this as, if you put the decimal point here instead of here, then you'll get 0.334. If you put it here as I originally did, then you'll get 33.4. So let's go with that. Let's go with x equals 33.4 minutes. And the notation for minutes is this little apostrophe looking thing. So if it does if it's not written like this in words, then you can write your final answer like this. Thirty-three degrees, thirty-three minutes. And just so you know, if there's more, you can put the seconds as well. And then you use two apostrophes for that. Best answer choice is number one.